I just got into the car as I'm walking in with this. I don't know. By the way, what the fuck did I do? I just sat on the floor and like dropped the camera and all the setup that we got here. No, no, like what he, did I do? Like, you try to get into the car, but you sat on the floorboard. So clearly, okay. It, <laughs> either way, be interesting. Either way, I think we're absolutely ready to start this. This is going to be another lit Q and A for all of my pro dudes that are at Telemundo.com and. Also, we're gonna share the love on YouTube because it's it's the same questions just recycled between pros and non-pros, and I feel like this is just the, the the best way of getting all the questions out. But all the questions came from pro dudes because I, I know you guys, and I I, I I owe you a little conversation. So, forgive me whenever you're ready, please. I'm ready. Okay. Help me with some questions, please. Okay. Mention the name of the guy, then the question, then we'll okay. hit it. Hell yeah. Wow! Holy shit! I'm really lit. Okay. I, I, by the uh, way, I already saw the question, so don't be... <laughs> yes, I edited okay. this. Uh, aguate, A-G-U-A-C-A-T. -A aguacate. Agu agu okay, I'll let, I'll let <laughs> Salamundo Sal say <laughs> Aguacate. Okay. Bro, update on everything. Coffee. Taco place, both <laughs> M3s, driving hot, hot tub, Fargini's new car. You said you were going to put the new trilogy. Any idea? Okay. That, well, that's, a, that's the whole show. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me sit back. <laughs> Just chill. Just chill. Okay. <laughs> oh. Mm, mm. Okay, Fargini. So, what was the first thing first in the in the list? Coffee's getting done. We, uh, it, like, with everything, we had a slight production with delay, but that's coming out any day now like yeah. we're just literally just waiting on it that's coming the watches no one we, asked, no one asked about the watches but, but, but no 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 but, I'm, I'm, no, 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 but I'm going like with everything I'm sorry okay, 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 yeah okay, I want to no, no, do no. everything because I Let's feel like it. we've we've left it abandoned yeah. for a while the watches are destroying destroying the gorilla watches are destroying guys we we had to make more inventory like it's been fucking incredible thank you so much for your support on that one with that one I've learned a lot more than um with anything else that we've done so far because that was an industry that was so far away and so separated from everything that we do and that I've never looked into that just showed me the most. But that, killing, killing, killing. What else, Pergini? Well, actually, can I say one thing about the coffee? Yeah. Just one thing you guys gotta remember when you're starting a new business, most likely you're not gonna do big boy orders. You're gonna have to do small <coughs> orders. Oh yeah. So you're not the priority. You're, right. you're not gonna be the priority of 99.9 <laughs> and that's completely understandable just be patient that's why we can't lose our shit on anything or anyone yeah. once we start moving thousands of yeah. units a day then we'll be yeah. gone we'll, we'll become yeah. like a little bit more once you do that you got to be then once you do big boy numbers then you can start demanding and <laughs> oh. requiring and having timetables and stuff like also that. we have that coffee in mexico that's coming out uh that's already ready i have the packaging i i think I, I, I'm gonna tell Pedro to show a little bit of the packaging because it's really cool. But I have to change the strategy there because I I didn't have anything in Mexico before. Yeah. I was just gonna like sell the coffee and bring it over, and now the the whole infrastructure lives in Mexico. Salomundo yeah. came about, three hundred thousand yeah. subscribers, and three weeks later we we we, we, we gotta set up shop. We gotta set up shop and figure something out. Yeah. So again. Nothing has a plan. Nothing is like oh, I'm gonna make this and then just go with that plan. If I had a whole business plan on my coffee today, right? The the whole grain. Yeah. If I had uh, um, a business plan on that and I was following that without paying attention to what's happening to me, I'd be done. Yeah. I'd be out on the street because I'm not paying attention to what matters. Yeah. I mean, this is a little too obvious, but you guys, this happens all the time in life and we miss those opportunities. So we're gonna take a step back with the ground coffee and uh, um, uh, we're gonna figure out a new strategy for Mexico because we're about to take over, son. Yep. We're about to take over. Also, I fucked up my throat screaming on the vlog with Vic. <laughs> Apparently, I really like to cut metal. It's like a big thing of me. Uh, so okay, yeah, what else? Coffee. Sh uh, I'm sorry. Uh, taco place. Taco place. Right after the LA Auto Show, we're finally gonna sit down, have the final talk, and uh, uh, see if we can finally secure the location that we have. Can't say anything more than that, but it's already there. So tacos, we are legitimately so fucking close. Yeah. And, 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 and if you pull this off, it's gonna be a great surprise. Oh, oh. It's gonna be a great synergy. That's a great word. Yes, synergy. yes. It comes with a, yeah. It, it, it'll all make sense. Yeah, once, yeah, exactly. Once you you, everyone will go, ah. Oh, got it, yes. Okay, taco, uh, both M3s. Okay, Avi's M3 is gonna be an, M, uh, uh, an M3. It's gonna be. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's good. I'm sorry, Fargate. No, of course, I'm, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm, pa- I'm being patient with you. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you, you, you can get Avi's. <laughs> Avi's M3 <laughs> is going to be for a giveaway. Vix M3 is not going to be a giveaway car. I tried to buy, to buy the car from Vic. <laughs> Vic played with the idea. And I'm still waiting on a yes or no. Are we going to work on the car and bring it back to life? Absolutely. We're waiting on finishing Ivan's car. We just had to finish everything that we were doing. So once we're done with Ivan's, we j- will jump into Vic's. And we're not going to finish the Vic M3 saga until it's done. Oh, yeah, exactly. Until the car is up and running and someone gets really scared. And, and, and the reason he's not selling it to you is because he still has a tremendous I, amount of emotional <laughs> attachment to the car. I see, I see it yeah, in his eyes. He yeah. won't let go. He's like, yes, yes, it's yours, but... <laughs> We need another memory Hang on. He goes, yes, yes, it's yours, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, we got to be delicate about yeah. that situation. And Avi's M3. Hang on, are we even shooting? Yes, yes, we oh are. Oh, my oh. God, are you recording? Yes, I am. Good news. You sure? <laughs> yes, Let me get a good. verification, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it's right okay. there. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and uh, Avi's M3. Yeah. He redid the seats, right? He put, he put like, special... No, dude, I mean, that, that fucking car is going to be bright. Right, 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 right. He redid all of the rugs yeah. and carpet on the floor. Yeah. He redid all of the seat, all of the seats, all of the yeah. leathers he, completely and he put, brand uh, new. Like memory foam in the chair. He put chairs. memory foam you in said the chair. Yeah. It. Oh, it's so comfortable. So compared to compared to a regular seat, the regular seat has a bounce. Yeah. That makes it, you know, like a regular seat. Yeah. This has a little, uh, a little <laughs> bit of a give. Hey, obviously. Wait, wait, so it kind of makes it like a harness yeah, without yeah. wearing a harness. It's just like a little. Hey. Are we gonna do uh, memory memory seat conversions at obvious? I like think so. I think that's what we're gonna seat. be starting. Let's uh, look at that. Let's look into. Let's that. look into that okay. because it was really it, it, it honestly better yeah. than this. Yeah, of course. This is a Rolls um, Royce. Uh, driving the hot tub. So Ivan's car. Ivan's car. We're getting we're getting to it right now. So if you guys if you guys have been watching the vlogs, you'll see that it's right there. <laughs> yeah. We're oh, this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, guys. It it's just so cool. That I we wish, get I, to I, do wish this. I could talk about the status of it now, but you guys haven't seen the latest. I know. Episode, it's wherever it's, you are right now on the show that that's what you're seeing. <laughs> yeah. So we we can't mess with it. Yeah, what yeah. else are we working okay. on? What uh, else are we uh, working uh, on? Forget it. Puka pals. Uh, what about puka pals? Uh, puka. <sighs> Destroying. Uh, I mean. The charity thing has been so great, and There's, you guys have been so fucking yeah. incredible. Yeah, uh, you've donated over two hundred and something backpacks, yep. so we we can't say thank you enough yeah. on behalf of I, all the kids, and also because it makes us feel good. Yeah. In all honesty, we can't lie about that. Yeah. Uh, thank and, you so much for that support. And, and That's I great. How, I know how kids are in school when you don't have the newest stuff. You don't have the stuff, and I get really emotional about this stuff. <laughs> yeah. like, but that's cool, dude. You're gonna get a couple hundred kids. They're gonna have a dope backpack for the holidays to put the other toys in. Then when yeah. school starts again, they're gonna have, they're gonna be like fresh out. Yeah. And I was telling you in the car. I was telling you in the car. I was telling you in the car. I'm gonna work really hard to get shoes, clothing, backpacks, and school yep. school supplies with the same system. Yep. 50 percent off. You guys buy it. We'll <laughs> take it over to the Fred yeah, Jordan mission. This is really important for me. Yeah. Our, and kid, well, our Fred Jordan kids are always gonna look fly. Yeah. And and I and I was actually commending Farshad on this in the car, and I was telling him how nice because. This motherfucker, and this is a great thing and a terrible thing at the same time. We're running out of inventory. <laughs> yes. yes. And, and incredible because we never thought we'd sell everything that yep. we ordered yep. from the start yep. in a year. In yep. le- last year. Less than a year. In uh, a y- like store turned nine on months. April 1st. April so 1st. nine months. Yep. Holy shit. <clears throat> so I never thought that was going to be the case in a year. And even though we have that problem, yeah. which, you know, we're placing a new order yep. and all that yep. stuff. Yep. Which, by the way, guys, so important to get your timing right yep. between orders on everything you do. Um, you never want to not have an And you still gave priority to this. Yeah, Like, absolutely. I appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely. I appreciate I, the shit out of it. And thank, thank you, you. Of course. Thank you for the platform yeah, the for allowing people to do that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my new car. Can I talk about this? <laughs> you oh, you got to go here's about my, this. Here's the problem, guys. I know everyone wants me to buy a Hellcat. I want to buy a Hellcat. But I got to figure it out because the thing is I drive 60 miles a day to get to his house and then go to Prevail <laughs> Boxing, right? <laughs> or gets, let's be realistic. It gets 10 miles to the gallon, right? Uh, Ford, oh, I can't do the math. Uh, no, 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 it's terrible. Times, that's like hundreds of dollars a day. <laughs> you don't, hey, you don't have to be a scientist to know <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a terrible yeah, thing. Yeah. And also, there's so much stuff going on right now. There's so much stuff. I, I haven't even thought <laughs> about the car. Yeah, I, and also, all of our... Com- all of our next year just changed completely with yeah it, yeah with just just the small item of like Salomundo yeah, yeah. because what do you think we're gonna leave Mexico Spain Colombia and all those places alone no and I don't mean that like business wise but we'll go and do car shit with you guys and go have some fun with you yeah and, 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 and Fargini <clears throat> loves Latina women like lo- you know that I've always he adores. told you oh. oh it's on now. Salomundo. <laughs> 
<laughs> you see why this motherfucker <laughs> likes me? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so hang on. No, no Hellcat for far shot. That's probably gonna not be it. Yeah. And it's most likely gonna be. Uh, um, I would you go for an electric car? Nah, uh, no. Just because of the way my housing situation is right now, I don't have. <coughs> I don't have the best access to a. Got what it. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What oh, because on your side of the house, yeah. they don't have it yeah. on the other side of the house. Yeah. Okay. What are you? Th- what were you thinking? What car were you thinking? I fucking Model Three, dude. It didn't look bad at the car show. It didn't look bad. I love Tesla though. And then also you have the E Class, the convertible oh, that you want so no, bad. But no, I, I don't, I don't know if I let him. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. Well, well this is. This I guess. Is still going on. On. It all, it always goes through. Uh, <laughs> and also, what about all the new ways that cars are being sold to us, right? Where, I would do, I would where Cadillac and all the... That's what I'm saying. Totally You're going to be subscribed to the yeah. Volvo. What about Volvo? Yep, yep, yep. So, what are you going to get? You're so confused. Uh, I don't know, yeah. And can I also say, I did call in and I told everyone that you were never going to know. And you were going to drag us yeah, through this course, whole process dude. for years. Because, because the thing I is, warned you guys when we made that video with the A4 <laughs> or the S4. But but it's different now. My, my car like is different. Like Me getting a new car now is different than before. <laughs> Why? I feel like it just has to be something special. Like It's got to be... Okay, well, we'll get to it. Okay. And then, uh, sure. and then it says you were going to put a new trilogy. Any idea when that is happening? So we're talking about... Uh, we're talking about the videos that we're going to be making soon. Um... I have something, okay, so with that, that being said, yes, we're gonna bring back the, sorry, sorry, Farsha, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's, oh, oh, no, oh sorry, man. oh, man, sorry, what a, what a bummer, <laughs> all right, don't worry about it, it's all out there, that's Joey's, that's your Joey's, hey, hey, that, Joey's. Was, that was Joey's dinner, <laughs> all right. um, what was I talking about, <laughs> um, the, the, the new videos, the new videos, the trilogy, oh. and, so like I said, Salomundo brought another side to this game, basically. And I, I just don't want to spoil too much, but we are bringing back the high quality, big production shit in a different way, though. Don't think it's just going to be the same way you've always gotten it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> It, it's it's being reworked on the show. The first show is gonna be easy as fuck. You guys pretty much see all of the cars here, and I believe uh, there's an extra car that we won't mention that we have access to. So we'll add that one. But uh, uh, the first show is ready, and I also want to do something like that in Spanish. So now now that we have the Spanish market, and just so y'all know, it's gonna be different this time. This time this time around. Even though it looks like in Hyper 5, I knew what I was doing and I'm banging it, <laughs> kind of looked like, yeah. like knew what I was doing. I now, for real, know what, you're doing. Know what I'm yeah. doing. All these fucking 12 or whatever many years of production uh, experience that I got and, yeah. and creating and all of that stuff are finally ready. It's going to go into the next, the next one. They're al dente, motherfuckers. Nice. I'm so fucking ready for this. Nice. And hey, if it bombs, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I just have it right here and I just want to... Pull it out and just give it to you guys, if that makes any sense. Nice. Is that okay. a good update? That's a great update. That was a great full. Thank you. It's a fucking full. Was update. that forty-five minutes? Good. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, next one's from Mohammed One. Uh, mm. What Muhammad you guys? One. What do you guys think of John Cena's situation with Ford GT? Apparently, he sold his and getting sued by Ford because customer who got Ford GT cannot sell them before two years. Can you actually explain to me um, what exactly? Let happened? me let me explain everything to everyone. Okay. So. In case you guys don't know and live outside of the U.S., John Cena is a huge wrestler. He's been a huge wrestler. He was a movie star. He's a movie star. TV guy. Like, yeah. he's a mega big... Star, mega yeah, star. he's a big star. He's a big yeah. personality. And uh, uh, Ford chose him with the Ford GT because Ford decided to make a limited run of the Ford GT, the brand new one. They made 500 cars that were going to produce a year. They were going to do that run for two years. Now no one knows what the official numbers are, but it's going to be around that. Uh, and Ford was very picky about who they were choosing to give a car to. And whoever got a car was supposed to be a brand ambassador and had to sign a contract about the car and how they were supposed to use it, how many miles they had to put a year, and all these stipulations. That's, that's part of it. So John Cena ended up getting a car. And... Immediately, he made a video for YouTube where he reviewed it, which you were like, what? John Cena yeah. has a car channel? <laughs> right. Incredible. Yeah. I know I found that at the same time, but it was really good. Uh, I'm surprised he doesn't do more than that uh, stuff. And and then he goes and sells the car. Uh, how, how long after he got the car did he sell the car? 
approximately. It's been like a month or two. Oh, like that nothing. quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, man. nothing. Okay. Because the rumor is, and I haven't heard if this is true or not, because I haven't seen anyone interested in one. Yeah. Uh, I legitimate, like, legitimately, I know the people. I know a few people, like a handful of people, that have four GTs. The, the new one. Like the new the one. Allocation of yeah, things. like okay. Bo, for example. Yeah, of course. Oh, Bo, other yeah, guys. Bo, yeah, 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 but that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, we yeah, know yeah, like yeah, a yeah, handful yeah. of people yeah. that have a, a four GT. Yeah. But I don't know and have heard and have not heard from anyone asking about buying one. Right. Is that not weird? Yeah. Everyone's just like, hey, it's too expensive. Leave it alone. It's yeah. the four GT. Leave it alone. And that at the same time is bad. Yeah. So the rumor here is saying that John Cena made a million dollars on this. That he sold the car for one point five million. Is the number real, uh, realistic? It could be. If you, you find the so? right, for the, one of the first ones, if you find the right guy, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it because I do know someone who paid 1.2 million for a brand new fucking 911R. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. How's that going today? Not very well for that, dude. Uh, sorry. Yeah, but so he anyways, it. he sold it for 1.5 million. Whatever it is, even if he sold it for a million, 1.5, I think the, the amount is irrelevant either way. Uh, here and, and Ford decided that he was under bridge of an agreement and sued him for saying that he violated he bridged the the agreement in the sense that he was supposed to keep the car for a certain amount of years he was supposed to be a brand ambassador for them and drive it for a certain amount of miles and people were supposed to see that so Ford suing them for all of those damages right how, how did, did it uh, have a number of what they're suing I, for I I don't remember reading that it, okay. I don't remember reading that either way that's not the big deal. I think here, uh, Ford's on the right, and I, I hate, and listen, I'm not the guy with the Ferrari policy that's all about that, but listen, it's very simple. If, if you sign an agreement with someone, and it says, don't sell the car, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's your explanation. it's fucking hard, <laughs> but, uh, and I'm going to be that guy, here's the loophole around that. You either hold title for two years, after, even though you sold the car so the guy can have the car and you hold the title for two years so that no one can get you out of a list because technically you didn't sell the car, you're just renting it to the guy, make a so, rental agreement. Anyway, to, to be clear, the guy gives you money, he takes the car, but you hold on to, to the, the title, title and you under the promise me. that you'll give it right. to him in two years. And before you go, oh, can you trust the guy, blah, blah, blah. Look, you can have contracts and stuff, but at the end of the day, yeah. you've, you've exchanged it, money it's for all the about, car. It's all about, exactly. And then the second one is you buy it under an LLC and you just sell the LLC and, and transfer the ownership of the LLC. That way the ownership remains the same for the car. Right. So that's that's so, the so, way to go around the yeah. system. So, so to be clear, it's like uh, your your company purchased the, the, car. the car and I purchased your company and all its assets. That's right. So you get to have the car. But I didn't sell you the car. Right. I sold so you my you company. Right. By the way, that's billion dollar advice for There you everyone. go, John. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, I'm sure he did. I, I hope he did something. I, I don't know. Uh, can, I, can I give you my two cents? I don't know. Hey, listen. I, give me your two cents. Okay. If you really made a million dollars and someone was like, hey, homie, here's a million dollars, I would sell it also. And then I would go, okay, how much are you suing me, Ford? How much? If Ford can't sue more than five, six hundred, whatever it is. I'd be like, no problem. Here's two, three. Oh, you know what the problem I is? They're going for damages it. of the brand, and they can say that John Cena's name was way bigger than the. Oh. You know what I mean? That's how the. It's all about this wording, is bad guys. Bad PR Every, for Ford too, I think. I think a little bit because no. it just drags on, and and, I, I'm gonna, and, and I'm gonna John tell Cena you holds his ground. I'm going to tell you this. I right now, without looking at evidence of what happened without knowing that John actually just transferred title of ownership like for example maybe he did one of the things that I said yeah then in that case John would be on the right and Ford's fucked because yeah. they didn't put that right on their agreement I also don't know if the agreement was completely one-sided and by Ford and, and saying it, it, yeah. dude the second you stop talking about the car if you don't I if you don't see you driving the miles yeah, like it, whatever it, you don't yeah. know how airtight that contract yeah, is yeah, yeah. so here's what I have if John Cena sold the car and he was under an agreement, and he just simply sold the. It's on him. Yeah, it's Le one in the, in the in legal legally, wise, he doesn't have much. It's one, you don't have shit to say. Yeah, yeah you're done. Yeah, uh, and and if he didn't do that, then John's got a, a a lot of room to play with. Do I approve of him doing what he did? You do whatever the fuck yeah, you want, yeah, John, yeah, because yeah. you know what? Yeah. We don't pay you to live your life, yeah. son. And that is the biggest thing that everyone has to realize. Who gives a shit? It's John's decision at the end of the day what he did or not. 
Who cares about your approval or my <laughs> yeah, approval what if or he, your approval? What if he did it to be John Cena? Yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm fucking John Cena. I'll fuck sell, you, I'll sell, bitch. I'll, I, sell, I sell my fucking You don't Ford tell GT. me to sell my Ford <laughs> GT. I tell you, I sell it. What if he didn't even want the car? And he went through this whole motion to <laughs> As be a like, joke. I'm John Cena, As a bitch. joke. Yeah. <laughs> And then the attorney bill comes. Woo! Okay. Hey, by the way, this is our our, our after hours uh, <laughs> the session. Yeah. yeah, this is what we do every day. Okay. Um, Mo K, what was a what was a car that you've had that you wish you had right now? The SLS Black Series. Yeah, you always talk about that car. I know. I love that car. I know it was not the greatest, the best, <laughs> and the the most impressive, but. What's the one thing about it that you like, like keeps you going back to it? What was that one feeling or the one thing? I just always remember how the the steering wheel felt and how it smelled. Th there's always weird. Things. I don't know. Yeah, like there's, there's, there's not a rational it. answer where you're gonna go like, oh, that makes sense. There, I mean, yeah. there's some people yeah, that get yeah. off by sitting on a cake and. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't all have to like the same thing, so that that's my thing, and immediately yeah. takes me back to that and the gold paint. Yeah, that yeah. gold paint <sighs> and the wings. That's like a oh, that's like a proper Pagani well, without paying like how the much are they feet. going for now? Uh, oh, they half a million. Okay, for, yeah. yeah, they okay. skyrocketed. Maybe John Cena can buy two of them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Forexi, 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 Forexi. Farhan, Farhan. Ready for this one? This is a big one. In and out versus Shake Shack. In and out all day. And he says I prefer In and Out as well. In and out all day. It's rather simple. It's scientifically proven. That no. I, uh, what do you like? Shake Shack? Are you a Shake Shack guy? No, I think overall, if you take everything into consideration, convenience, price, food, da, 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 in and out cannot beat In and Out. Game over. But In and Out versus Shake Shack is like you're with your, you're with a girl. Like you don't go. You might not take her in and out. You like, oh, I want to fancy it up. Like a little bit, you'll go Shake Shack. Like like a teenager would like on his first date might go to Shake Shack and yeah, in like and out. in and out is just a quick bite. But yeah. the problem is the burger is so good that yeah. you compare it above. Yeah. Your first date, you take her to Shake Shack, and yeah. then like fourth, fifth date, then you guys you start take going to in, in and out. out. That's when you relax. That's when you you can fart <laughs> in front of each other. That's when you just uh, let them rip. And then two years later, you become roommates. Okay, uh, Smokey Q. Hey, what's your favorite strain at the moment? Ha ha ha! But I've also been wondering what kind of music you guys are into. I'll, can I ask? Can I answer the music one? Answer the music. No, one. no, you know, no, 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 no. You go. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my strain. Okay. Uh, Twenty-four carat. Twenty-four carats is this. Shh. <laughs> is, that, is that currently? Is that currently what you're? Uh, That's right. On you're, deck. Uh, messing with. On deck. Okay. That's nice. what's on deck right now. And, and, and music. I I okay. I used to love hip hop and rap and all that shit, but it's gotten weird. Uh, we always it's talk. Gotten, it's gotten weird. Yeah. Uh, it, it's completely changed. I completely understand that it's part of it. Uh, I'm enjoying a little bit more poppy stuff. Yeah. But I do like like hardcore, dirty shit, and I don't mean this in a bad way. I mean this in a, like a yeah, good like way. Right I now, like Cardi B. Yeah, like, like right now Easy. we're rocking uh, the that um, G Easy G Easy song. Fuck uh, me and get some money. Post Malone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all these guys. All these yeah. guys. I but like. You do that. love Drake. You love Drake. I love Drake. So, guys, this is this is what I also since love. I've known him. Hey, I also love Justin Bieber. Hey, hold on. This is I've known him. This is the this is the trajectory of like his music. Uh, the weekend. You were heavy on the weekend for a while. Yeah. Right? And then Drake. Yeah. Like heavy on Drake. Yeah. Uh, sprinkle in like. Um, Before that, by the way, it was like heavy Kanye, heavy yeah, Jay Z. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but you're but. We're, you're open. We're all open to it. like if a music sounds good, you like you listen oh, to like, yeah. Beyonce and like hell yeah, Spanish, like whatever sounds good. We're, we're hell yeah, we're, we're I'm down. down. With it. Yeah, once you grow older, you stop like forcing yourself into a genre. And you're like, yeah, let yeah, me, exactly, yeah, let exactly. me just see what sounds it, good, it, right? Exactly, exactly. And that's By what way, I'm into right speaking now. Speaking of, remember we went to see Vic, and I was like, Vic, uh, Scott Storch had a story where he had your uh, RDB air freshener. Yeah, and Vic goes, yeah, and yeah it was with friends. friends. Should I, can I should I ask Vic to reach out to him see if he wants to do a vlog like we do a song and yeah, like, hey, hang out with him? Just so you know, you have no chance. Can I try? Can I try? <laughs> Absolutely. Guy, guys, guys, we're gonna. Go, I, I actually love Scott Storch. I'm a huge yeah, me fan. Too, I'm a of huge, not a, not as music, just like as a person, the music, the things uh, he's his been music, through. His music, I I don't know a lot of shit about the one. other. I know the music. And, was and also, I, I I would love to learn how music is created. Like, what's the oh, process? Yeah, to like that, music? especially with a producer like that. Get yep, the fuck yep. out of here. Okay, um, Forks Eye again. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to do in the CGT once it's back home? Uh, park it in the garage for four weeks. <laughs> explain, explain to him. <laughs> explain to him why. Because the paint has to settle. The paint has to just cure. Yeah. So it has to sit for. 
four weeks before I can put a clear bra on it and before I can drive it. And also, a lot of people were commenting on the swirls on the CGT. They had to detail the car. Yeah, so guys, that you still remember, has to happen. Guys, things were happening. Things were happening literally last minute. Come on, yeah. like, give them a break. Yeah. Like things were going. But that paint uh, job. Yeah, I assure you though, on when when Showtime happened, they flipped the switch. That car looked oh yeah immaculate. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, immaculate. we saw it. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Um, uh, Did that okay. answer the question? So yes, that I. And then once I get the clear bra, I'm gonna go up in the canyons and just. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take my my wife on a date. And There's the no CGT? need for me. Yeah, for, nice. she loves the CGT. Nice. Yeah, because nice. it's a good cruiser when you're not pushing it hard. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you know how to take the angles on the ups and downs yep, yep, on yep. the street. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we're talking about paint. We're talking about how like okay, so you need you need four weeks for like a really nice paint. Yeah. Can you imagine like a Toyota or a Scion or a Nissan? Those things are. Beep, beep. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> you like you get it? You like touch it? When paint. when every and this is another thing that no one understands. When a factory sends you a car, right? So say you bought a Porsche. And they send you a car like my Cayman GT4, my 918. They land in the U.S., right, on the coast. They immediately... At the port. At the port. Yeah. They hit a car. Someone, like, scratches oh, yeah, them. Yeah, they hit yeah. the... Whatever it is. Right there, outside of the port. <laughs> this is not a joke. He's not kidding. He's serious. I am not kidding. This is fucking dead serious. There's body shops. No, no, no. Not Porsche body shops. Just body shops that will repaint your car, right? Yep. The yeah, same yeah, color, yeah, yeah. and send it to the dealer and never put it on the Carfax. Oh, yeah. Most likely, if you drive a car here in LA, you've got yeah. one of those cars. Yeah. I got yeah. I got probably all of those cars. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's really But we up. never look at it like, huh. That's a dirty secret. That's fucked up. Yeah. We just look at it like, wait, you're gonna change the color of the car by yeah. someone other than the factory? Yeah, 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 yeah. And by the way, guys, the factory's not the best work. It's because it, they don't have the time to be the best work. That, and also the factory, they tell you themselves, they're like, no, we can't paint yeah, these yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. We'll send it to a shop that we recommend, but yeah. we're not gonna put on the <laughs> yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, we, that we, we yeah. did it. So I was gonna pay Porsche, I don't know how much money to do all the shit that Galpin just that did yeah, yeah, exactly. for this, yeah. instead of me getting a certificate that said, hey, we're Porsche, this guy did paint his <laughs> did, yeah. car at that shop. Do you know the guy? Yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, 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 maybe. Hey, you know the guy? Hey, close by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good deal. Here's your GT2. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. So yeah. Chuck Guido, what a fucking legendary name. Hey, Chuck Guido. Hey, okay. Chuck. Hey, Chuck, what's up? <laughs> really curious, what do you guys think about Asian luxury brands and how they compare themselves to the likes of BMW, Mercedes, uh, uh, Benz, etc.? For an example of this, I added a screenshot of the Infiniti Q50 being compared to an M3 Kaki, or does Infiniti really have the pedigree and passion of German auto luxury brands? Uh, real quick, and you tell me if you agree yeah. with me. I don't think Japanese cars look the same like German cars. I, I do think they feel cheap. Yeah, I agree. Legit, like, yep. Legitimately, no matter how much luxury you throw at me, yeah. they look way cheaper than anything else. Uh, and compared, feel. Compared, now, compared to a German rival. Now, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna go dial it a little bit and say, I haven't looked at the latest generation of everything because as we know, the last generation of every car gave took it like a fucking step forward yep. the size of the world. Yep. So it'd be interesting to go to a dealership like a Toyota. Like we should go so in one day to five, seven wanna, dealerships. Do you want to do high-end Japanese cars or the or the like Camry style? No, like that. Yeah. A Camry style. Yeah. Okay, but we like also, the average. Yeah, but also another thing we should look or at. Or we is, can do tiers. Either way, yeah. I want to go and see the buttons and everything yeah. because I feel like. If we want to stay current right now, we got to catch up with everything that's Correct. out there because Correct. everything's changed so much. Correct. Um, I agree with your statement. Yeah. Except, mm -hmm. like you said, this next generation of cars, like the uh, Lexus's new LS, like their big boy car. I mean, when I saw pictures of that, I think we're going to be like, whoa. But then when you go into a new S class, then you're going to go, whoa. But, that, but that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. That's the the, the problem. wall from the German or the <laughs> yeah, British is yeah, like yeah. so all, huge yeah, yeah. compared to that. Whoa, oh! Yeah, yeah. Because always in the, in the Japanese or like the Chinese brand, you look at him or the Korean brand, you look yeah. at him, you're like, oh, that's great for that. Uh, correct. Like, yeah, exactly. And yeah, that's yeah. not good. Yeah, but also, can I add one more thing, Alejandro? Yes. All this stuff about like this quality that you got to realize we're a minority of car buyers that has this much knowledge. Oh, right? yeah, I know. Because I've helped people get cars. Yeah. And this one friend was like, can you help me get a Lexus RX, whatever? I was like, why are you looking at that? Why don't we go look at the, like, bah, Because bah, 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 the bah, fuck bah. do they know? They're like, 
We're, we're recording. Okay. And also, guys, I, I went back and recharged because the battery died in the middle of uh, the last literally, question. You re literally recharged both ways. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, boom, where's Alejandro? Okay, uh, we are at... Oh, it looks mysterious now. Uh, Buster CS RT4. My dude, Buster, what's up? <laughs> if you had to run for Federales and live in another country for the rest of your life, where would you choose to live? What's Federales? Federales is like the highway patrol in Mexico. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So... <laughs> That's a trick question. That's obviously a trick question. Oh, that a trick question? Because they're in Mexico. Oh, I'm already here in the yeah, U.S. Here. <laughs> <laughs> or are you saying if the Federalists came and chased me so here? here? Yeah, okay, let's Where would I go? Yeah, where okay. Would go? Where would you go? Canada. Why Canada? Great healthcare system. Okay. English. Okay. French. Okay. Eh. And, and it's kind of Europe. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you can yeah. kind of say it's... Yeah. It's Europe. I, I could be like, I'm a little more trendy than everyone <laughs> yeah, in the like U.S. A, a little Europe. Yeah. Canada. What, what about you? What would you do? I, I would just. I, I want to go somewhere where it's. <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I can only imagine <laughs> no, no, what no, you're listen, about to hear say. My, no, no, hear me out. I, I want to go somewhere where my money goes the furthest, <laughs> furthest it can go. Hold on. The furthest <laughs> it can go and. The Philippines. Yeah. Okay, but hold on. I want lawlessness, but not too much lawlessness. No, there's just not some. No, there's no does that make sense? No, there's not such a thing. Like a like there's Co not such Costa Rica a thing. or like no, no. um. Yeah. Somewhere this, basically somewhere was, where I'm king with a little bit of money. This is the thing. When I told my friends in, when I lived in Mexico, I was like, I'm gonna move to the U.S. But and a bunch of my friends were like, Why? I said, Because you know, I just first of all, I didn't know why. <laughs> but I was just like, I'm gonna go, and I didn't. I want to sound it better than just like Rodrigo's going, so I'm going. All right. And I said, you know, it's, it's safer there. You know, you can live a better life. It's yeah. more peaceful. And they go, yeah, but you can't get away with anything. And I go, yeah, but also the people doing something to you can't get <laughs> yeah. away with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, nah, that's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> But that's the third, you know, that's, that's how we think. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's how, we how think. I think, yeah. So I, I want to have... Uh, You're not going to get that. Where, where can I be a king with like a little bit of money, like a hundred grand? I'm just like a king of that town. I think, yeah, the Philippines. Philippines? Right? Yeah, I think so. Right, and I love Filipino women because they're like, even it's like even when they're like 60, they look like they're 25. Seriously. <laughs> it's crazy. And Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's true. It's true. Okay, here we go. Uh, Steve... <laughs> Steve McCuck? Steve McCock? McCock? Uh, okay. <laughs> If you could release any one product to change the auto industry, what would it be? Wow, what a great question. That's why what I wanted it. What a fucking great what do you think? question. What's the, okay. What I know what it release is. Release one product. I know what it is. I know what mine uh, is. I would ban <laughs> Obviously we can't use that. I just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think that's an instrument. I don't think you can okay. use that. Uh, you, what's yours? What's yours? Uh, <laughs> if you could release any one product to change the auto industry, what would it? What would it be? Modular platforms to build cars on. That means anyone can get any car made in any way, shape, or form as long as you have a design team to on board. Yeah. So, so you buy the frame and you add on. So you know how stuff. how the chassis the. The, the Panamera chassis goes with the RS7. The RS7 shares a chassis with the Bentley GT, the new one, and all of that. That's a modular way, chassis to a certain you, degree. Way, you left out like 17 other cars. I know. Share that chassis. That chassis. <laughs> but, but imagine like if a company built five of those chassis for five different category of cars. SUV, pickup, And then you sedan. just came in and said, you know, I have Alejandro Motors. I want to have all of my cars be super high end. I'm going to get the most delicious interiors and really go back to coach building. That'd be the the dopest fucking way of building cars. We're going to get there too. We're going to get we're, we're I know. I, I know I know people that can yeah. do this. We're we're, get, we're, get, we're getting closer. Yeah. I can't say what my product is. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's two products. It's one product with two variations, okay? Okay. One is two cylinders, one is four cylinders. And so it's a great way to add two or four cylinders to a four cylinder engine. engine. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a four cylinder engine. Yes, yes. That's it. My that's my product. Okay. Uh, what's up with the app for Android though? From Tim Timp. <coughs> Can you explain to us? I don't know. I have no idea how any of this works. This is incredibly hard, guys. 
you got to also realize that amongst all the businesses that we're doing and everything that we run, we are building these things. We're not subcontracting anyone. We are the ones doing all the work with our people. So it takes a lot of time, a lot of trial and error, and we're doing that. The biggest holdup right now and what's been fucking us like crazy is that Apple wants and is getting 30% oh, of all money that we're making on the they're side. Get it. Yeah. Look, look, here's the thing. I'll Apple said, I'm not allowing your app to be here unless you agree to this. But here's the thing. You, you got to do it, though. No, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you got to play. It's part of it, right? I'm going to play right now, and I'm going to figure out a way around it. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm doing right now here, yep. openly saying it. Yep. That's and so, and so, part of trial and error. So the Android app, what's the deal? And the holdback with the Android app? I'm gonna go inside right now and see why it's not released. It should be released right now. <laughs> watch, watch it. Hey, watch yeah, it be released this, in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. So if yeah. that happens, it was because of you. And, and I want to tell you guys, I told this Alonzo the other day. Uh, I told him, you're the only guy I know that has built such a nice app. Like from the ground, I'm like you're the only dude I know. Thank if anyone you. goes, hey, do you know anyone that, one, anyone that makes apps? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> the greatest app I've ever seen that of, of, like, a, a friend make. So <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Uh, Aliamus, Aliamus, what do you? What do you look for when <laughs> investing in something? Uh, <coughs> I don't invest in random shit with other people. So just if you guys, because I get a lot of people messaging me and hitting me up like, you got to listen to my idea. And probably someone watching right now is like, nah, those people are wasting your time. But not me. I <laughs> promise you that it's the same result. Uh, and it's not because your business is not right or not going to go well. It's because, as you know, Unless we're involved in that path, there's there's nothing we can do. Yeah, money is nice, but if you're struggling finding the money or leading your, your product, then you probably don't have a good gauge of what you're doing. So that means I'm going to give you money and I'm going to lose it because you don't know how you're running this business that you... Or they could be learning how to run the business with your money. Yeah, of course. And that's that ain't going to be the case ever, yeah. ever, ever. Like, I, I, like, I'll get someone to come in and say, I have a great business plan for... Uh, this new type of seed that creates a certain type of fungus that grows and kills all these things. Like, it's a great business. I, I understand it. I, I see it, whatever. But I have no direct link or any way I can make myself a path into that business. Yeah. So even if it makes sense, I'm not going to give you a check because you can't even get this done through a... Like, and the reality is, if your idea is really that great, you can mostly go to a bank and a small investor to get it funded. Yep. If your idea is that bulletproof as you think, yep. and, and, and if no bank or investor is seeing that yet, it's because you have to develop the product alongside with the idea for years to get to where the bank will give you the money. This is what's hard about business. Everyone thinks, all I need is a check, big check, you build it and it works. If you asked anyone else other than Mark Zuckerberg to build Facebook, that website would be completely different completely different i mean myspace was facebook's like the idea of facebook before that yeah right so uh nothing i i only look at things that are really nearby my shed my my paths and or things that i do every lane, day in the same lane yeah or similar lane because look we there's no denying we have a uh a, a, a channel here or a network that we can attack people and and, and showcase products and all that shit. but if the products are not right, if we don't believe in the product 100%. And that makes sense. I'm, we're not doing ads here. You guys have never seen me go like, and if you drink this water, they're going to give you a discount. Guys, he turns down big money. Just so Fuck that. Clear. He turns Fuck down that. big money. It's my brand. It's my product. And it's something I believe in. I, I don't work with others when they come up with when they come up with money just to like give me. And a lot of YouTubers that I understand. But it takes yeah. a lot more work to do what I do rather yeah. than taking the... I, I completely understand. And there's no more merit or less merit. I'm an actual moron for going the complicated way around yeah. it. But I'm going that way because I know the one day I hit with one of these, it's gonna make up for. <laughs> yep. And most investors do that. They they spread out. You they always spread out gotta the money do that. Like 10, 15, and yeah. then usually one or two hit, and then you're hits. done. Yeah. Uh, can I add one thing for you? I want to. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna speak on Alejandro's behalf because you guys do this all the time. Don't pitch him when you come up to him on the street. When you see him, he's not gonna listen to your pitch. There's one simple reason. And if you look at production companies, they they, oh, yeah. they always say we it's don't true. take unsolicited. 
uh, pitches, pitches. Because the thing is, you're standing in the street, you tell Alejandro, hey Alejandro, I have this idea, bup, 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 bup. right? I was like, great, I can't do it. Something happens, some guy comes and partners up with Alejandro in a similar business or whatever, and then you're gonna be like, hey, that was my that was my idea, and lawsuits and all that, kind of, it's crazy. So, you my, don't touch that, yeah. yeah. Here's my <laughs> suggestion, I'm gonna give you a suggestion on how to, if you want, approach Alejandro, whatever. Don't do it in the street, don't do it at car shows, don't do it in that kind of stuff. Go take your business up to a point where Alejandro can, we'll get away for Alejandro to look at it. It makes sense. It's in, in our lane. Then we can open up dialogue and conversations and it could make sense. Can I make, can I make one example of the light yeah. guy? So at the, at the, LA, oh, yeah. at the LA, there's <laughs> a guy who does the like lighting, LED lighting mm -hmm. with the headlights and stuff. I actually was looking into that. I was telling Alejandro, we got to get into the lighting. Stuff. Yes. So that Being dude, funny. so that dude came up, came to the LA auto show. Yeah. Stood in line, drove three hours to get there. Yeah. Came up to me and was just very polite and was just like, hey, I have an LED lighting company. He led with LED car light company because we're in cars. To, and, I, and I immediately went, oh shit, I love that you stuff. Do, and da, 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 yeah, da. And, and he already has it. He's already doing it. He's got product. He's got shit that he's showing yeah. people. Guys, Alejandro can can't it. start a, a thing from scratch right now. He just can't do it. So you got to be intelligent. And, and also, we don't, like, forget about me. You have no time to fucking. Yeah, there's, there's no, yeah. You can't, people think also that you're going to give him a blueprint with something where that money is the blueprint it's not if you're coming again if you're coming up with an idea where you can't get the funds and you're uh basically going to a stranger because in a way even though we're connected we're strangers you're going to someone yeah. who is completely in a different place than you are and hitting up that person that means you legitimately have no access to anything else which devalues your idea and your you, you know what i mean yeah. like you don't want to do that do it when you're ready, when you when have the big yeah. thing. Hey, we're, because what, what do people love the most? Get a finished product that I can say, holy shit, I love this. I would use it all yeah. the time. Let me put all my time and energy for you and for everyone to know about your product. And let me make money from dollar one. Yeah. And people go fucking bananas. You immediately make money. The others make money. Publicity instantly works. It's a fucking beautiful thing. Rather than fund my business, run my business, because we... We're think about numbers. this. We're not running nothing. And another another thing you got to think about is, if anyone else with the money can do what you want to do, you have nothing, unless you started before them. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. So those people had saved like, I'm not going to tell you what my business is until whatever, because anyone can steal my idea. <laughs> that means I can do your idea without you. You're yeah. not necessary. Yeah. I got the money. I got the reach. And just being like yeah. completely crude about this By and way, just honest. At what point did you invest into Puku? Because we never had a conversation. You, you and I never have conversations <laughs> about money, investing and stuff. Like no. We never had that stuff, no. right? No. I never came to you. I never asked you for no. nothing. When did you? When you showed me the sample. <laughs> that night. Yeah, the I'm, night, I'm not bullshit. The night I showed you the sample, yeah. you said, can we talk? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's very they simple. Don't. And I was there from the moment he was like, oh, I met these designers to like, <laughs> yeah. this is the backpack to like, look at the mock-ups. And I was like, there's no way this motherfucker yeah. is going to pull that off. He did. Yeah. So, Once he did, yeah. Once, easy, dude. Once. You already figure out yeah. how to work, how to make the product, how to... Yeah. That's so, it. So, point being, bring something to peop, investors or whatever when it's like, wow, get the wow. The first line out of your mouth, you should get a wow. I'll give you a very good, like, I'll give you a very good example uh, of when you're ready and when you're not. When you're talking about putting all of that together, you have the doubt of, like, again, like, you're thinking, anyone can do this without me. Like, if anyone wanted to do our backpacks today and copy them, we'd be like, good luck, motherfucker. Best of luck. Right? Yeah. Do you agree? Our, our factory doesn't even want to make them. Yeah, they're, they're like, so oh, intricate. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, then you come out and you say, fucking invest in this shit. And you're like, holy shit, you did something that's so elaborate and yep. so incredible yep. that that's, like, that's amazing. Yep. I am in some businesses stuck where I need to build up, like, a, a, a portfolio, for example, or a, a resume in those businesses where I'm already doing well, but I got to take it to the next level. But the money in between doesn't make sense for me. Because taking me away from all the shit that I do yep. would make me lose money. Yep. If that makes any sense. Of course, you can't. Don't chase. Okay. <laughs> don't chase pennies. No. Nope. When the dollars are right, like in front of you. Yeah. To make. Don't. Don't. You guys. Don't go chasing. Don't, yeah. Don't chase money. Yeah, don't and it's also money. way better to have one hundred one percent of a dollar than a hundred percent of zero. Which exactly? I was gonna say of a dollar, which could, which could. 
which could disappear. Which could disappear. Yeah, you know what I mean? So always, always think in those terms when, when making money. I don't know why we got so deep into business. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, I did, I did enjoy that talk. <laughs> yeah. Though. Okay, 3530 Garage. Cool. Would you trade your 911R straight up for a Singer 911? Any truth to the vicious rumor that Ivan is actually Parker's discarded conjoined twin <laughs> has Farsha touched a woman since the arm wrestling vlog have you if you have not oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah I have of course uh, if you died and were reincarnated as a car seat whose car would you want to be what what are you? Hey, wow. On the last one on the car seat, whose car seat I want to be, you'd understand why I can't answer that question. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just like leave you. Leave it that. Don't bring it up again. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. I'm a married man. Uh, yeah, yeah. With, uh, 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 I'm, ma I'm happily married happily to a married woman man. that I'm terrified of. <laughs> yes. Just like everyone else in a happy marriage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And would I ever trade my 911R for a singer? singer. We were just talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Uh, I, I, I would if I had unlimited money. Like unlimited money and I didn't give a fuck about like values and where to spend my money. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way to the singer guys. Yeah. It's just, I, it's too much for something that's, uh, that's a, a, a very rebranded. Lu very luxury. And, and not, and listen, it's not too much for the value of the thing that you're getting. It's too much for the perception that the world still has around those cars. Just like with the paint job yeah. change. Yeah. Yeah. So because of that reason, I'm out. I'm, I'm, out. So, I'm practicing my, <laughs> my, my fish tank. <laughs> we need our own. What was it? Yeah, fish the, tank. The fish, the, the fish bowl. The fish bowl. The fish bowl. We're going to yeah. do our show at the fish bowl. Um, Only Zach, that's $5. Zach Harmon. Yeah. Your most memorable accomplishment. <laughs> I chose that because there's nothing. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing. Because every day, like, look. Getting a hundred thousand subscribers, getting a thousand subscribers, getting a million subscribers, getting a thousand dollars, your first dollar, your first million, your first five million, it all like it all caps out. Yeah. And people are always searching for like, I want that great feeling. And as long as you eliminate that idea that that exists, yeah. and you understand that every little victory feels like that, and yeah. you can really just enjoy every single one of those, yeah. you're golden. Like tomorrow's my fucking birthday. I'm enjoying that I made it for a full year without dying in an idi idiotic way. <laughs> That's you know what I mean? That fucking, hey, yeah. that day I'm celebrating that accomplishment. I used to get sad when my birthday was coming up because I was like, I haven't done anything with my fucking life, like nothing. And now I can say, I have days when I get something accomplished. Like today I got the first million views on the Salamundo, yeah. on the Salamundo channel. Got 300,000 subscribers in three weeks on the Salamundo channel. Uh, we got 800,000 subscribers on the Salamundo channel. Like... All of those things those I'm are, celebrating. Those are huge accomplishments. Each one, I'm celebrating each one in whatever way I want. Because otherwise, you're just going to be looking for something you'll never find out there. Which is a weird sense of a weird accomplishment yeah. that a lot of people are still searching for that doesn't exist. It's the same thing. you got to just enjoy those moments. So what is the greatest accomplishment of my life? Whatever was the latest one. Ah, no. Whatever is the next one. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. Okay. Um, completely forgot about. Oh, this is uh, Jay Scott. Completely forgot about the Scion. Haha. -ha. Question. Would you we say, all did. Would you say that the progression of cars has happened so rapidly that we have become spoiled and no longer get to appreciate cars for the length of time that we used to? Example of that would be the Holy Trinity and how they aren't spoken in any regards anymore due to the rapid increase of the yeah. impressive car. <laughs> because the 720S know. came out, yeah. no one's racing a 918 yeah. anymore. The yeah, 720S yeah. is the shit. By like the P1 and all those cars, like no one's even, they're not, they, they don't hold the same stature that they used to. Oh yeah, you saw those rolling in and you were like, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that, get the fuck out of here. <sighs> What's gonna happen to prices on those? Those are gonna go up. No, no, no. Because they're 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 still. If you just follow, if you just follow the entire. Got it, got it. Yeah, okay. it's just okay. bound to go up. Yeah, I, I do agree that we don't enjoy cars as much as before because they do shorten up their lifespan so much now. Which, which is, is because of our attention spans are so short, so short, right? and at the same time, competition is so, so stiff. Tough, yeah. This is why Ferrari. It's so yeah, slow yeah, and yeah. behind because yeah. they don't do this, but everyone else is just accelerating their process. Yep. I like that. I, I, I hate that I don't get to enjoy or know as much uh, about as many cars as before because yeah. also they're making way more cars now than before. Of course. Each brand had like six things yeah. and that's it. And now it's like, 
like vomit everywhere. Yeah. You can't experience everything. So it's a good surprise every time I get into something that I was like, oh my God, where yeah. was this my whole life? Yeah. So I like it and I don't like it at yeah. the same time. By the way, before, do you agree before? I'm talking about the big brands like Mercedes and them. It was a 10 year yeah. Product. Do you remember that? Yeah, they did you, it on you purpose. Did a fucking S class for ten years. Yeah. Like, yeah, don't worry about it, in five, four years of depreciation. Be, all the same. Because no one was able to compete. Yeah. It's now, just Mercedes. now the cycle is six years with a three year midlife or midlife refresh. And sometimes it's just two years. <laughs> yeah. And do you know why? Because people are doing three year leases, so they just want to. Oh just yeah. The, you're just, you're just because oh, when your when your lease is coming up, they go. Oh, here's I need a mid, the new here's, thing. A, here's a mid mid cycle refresh. Yeah. Here's a new course. spoiler. Here's a new bumper. That's oh. Right? oh and and the Urus, I'm so stupid for not. How many years that. ago you think the Urus was announced? Four, right? Four to five years ago. Yeah. Incredible. Right. Yeah. It okay. needs made. Um. Okay, we did that. Oh, last one. Ah, all right. Trucker Myers. Okay, trucker. What car did you think was gonna be shit and turned out to be fucking awesome? Also the opposite. What car did you think would be shit but turned to be shit except for the Huayra? Ah, uh, it's not fair. The Huayra <laughs> would be the one. That's the uh, one. Uh, that's one that I thought was way better than what it was and had high hopes. But now, now that I look back at it, it's not that it was a piece of shit. It's just it's a small, small company car. It is what it is. That's it is what it is. It's not supposed to be better than what it is. It is what it is, and I should just appreciate it for it being a piece of art, like I said it was when I got it. But uh, uh, I just never had it in my head that I was just supposed to look at it like that. Other than the Wyra, what's been a really disappointing car? Mm, that's a great question. Shit. Because you know what the problem is? What? All the cars are good. They're, I didn't say great, but they're good. They're and also now that I'm more educated as yeah. to what cars I'm buying, yeah, I, I'm making way better that decisions is, yeah. than before. But but still, even okay. Last really bad car that I bought was the SLR. The S. Why is that? Because again, you drive an SLR and it kind of feels like that fifteen thousand dollar Mercedes. <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool, yeah. but it's not. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I want to say uh, the McLaren SLR. McLaren Mercedes SLR. Oh, 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 sorry. The McLaren Mercedes SLR. That's that's what I'm going <laughs> to go with. Okay. And which one turned out to be way better than I ever expected the Performante? I, I, I was just going to say, I think you're going to say the Performante. Right? Because right? you, you, had, you, had, you hadn't driven it. You, knew, you had no nothing. expectations. You knew nothing. Nothing. I left it alone. And so it only... That, the only memory you have, a thought you have of it is like the Huracan. Oh, and the past cars, which were yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Absolute shit. This was really surprising. So that's that. That's it. Fargini, thank you so much. Dude. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, guys, for putting up with our shit, and especially with mine and my highness. I don't know how slow I was with this. I don't know if this is 80 hours long. We'll speed it up. <laughs> that's Fargini. I'm 100. Thank you very much for watching. We never approve these messages. Take care.